Okay, this video will show you how to how to center your needle back to the center of the needle hole. First thing you're going to do is remove this stainless steel cover by removing these two screws here. So it should look like this when it's off. Okay, so you have to go to the left side now of the machine, and you might have to rotate it to needle 15 to get to the left side of the motor. Just keep on turning it. Okay. Now you're going to find this piece. Okay. So rotate it. Rotate it to you can find this small Allen screw facing up so you can reach it faster. More comfortable. Okay. So after loosening the screw just a little bit this will slide off okay so now just leave that hanging come to the front go ahead and move the machine manually and you want to just center it the needle okay make sure it's center move it just a little bit more Okay, now that looks much better, more center. And you also have to look at this cam here has a has a hole. This hole should be facing 12 o'clock, facing straight up. If it's slanted to the more to the right, more more to the right, more to the left, it's not going to turn properly. So make sure this is facing up, and that the needle is dead center. Okay, and now you have to look at what needle you're on. So this is on needle 14. Okay, so now you have to move the tip. Okay, move the, rotate the tip of this, and you're gonna look at your screen, and you're gonna see how it's changing needles. See, there is 15, 14, and we're in 14, so I'm going to go back to 14. There you go. Just by moving the tip of this. And carefully, just slide it back on. Okay. As you can tell, the screw is facing down, so I have to move it manually. Turning the red knob. Maybe 15. Okay. Now it's facing up, but now it's showing zero, so I got to put it back on fit. Now I got to put it on 15 since I'm on 15. There you go. And the screw hole is facing 12 o'clock. Go ahead and slide it on. And now you can tighten the screw. And there you have it.